We're going to give this Taurus TX-22 uh, a good solid review. I've got uh, a whole bunch of ammo here, as you can see, and I'm going to run at least 32 rounds of every single one of those minimum through this, if not so A lot more. of people like to do just, you know, the out of the box. This is exactly how it came. We've got uh, an old plastic piece here. I'm going to take that out. Okay, and we'll go over this. Looks great. You know, there's the pistol. We've got all the paperwork that comes with it. It does have a little thing here for the mag. To help push that down and load it. I did see some reviews. I, I don't really think that this is too terribly difficult to load this way. One thing that I notice is the mag is a little different. This one does hold 16, which I think is great. And then we have our barrel adapter here for the cans. And then you've got the lock. And that's, that's the TX-22 out of the box. Okay, so let's just take a quick look here at this Taurus TX-22. You know, when you first take it out of the box, I think for me, the first thing that I notice is I really like the grip. It is extremely comfortable in the hand. I like the grip. It's almost like a really coarse sandpaper. Unlike the SR22, we cannot change the grip. Um, but I think that's okay for me. This just feels really comfortable. The mag release comes from the factory on the left side for righties. However, it is changeable, ambidextrous, so the instructions that come with this are great. It's really easy. We can just pop this out, take the top off, and we can switch this to the other side. Another thing that I like with this is the sights. Okay, The rear sight is adjustable for both windage and elevation. We have two screws here, and again, the directions are super clear, which I really like. They have some great pictures. Um, those of you that you know aren't super comfortable with adjusting sights, windage, elevation, you know, especially on a pistol, or you forget, you know, which way is the back supposed to go. The directions do a fantastic job of walking you through that. So it's it's pretty much. I don't want to say a no brainer, but it's pretty much a no brainer. Another thing is is. The ejection port is on the side. Now, why would this be important? The first thing that I notice with the SR22 is with the top ejection, this, this stuff kicks out. Yeah, granted, you're supposed to always be wearing um, eye protection. There are some times where we forget or we don't have it, and you will be reminded with a top ejecting um, <laughs> that you need your eye protection because stuff flies out. So. Anxious to see how this goes, stuff will fly out to the side, but again, if we're wearing hearing, or sorry, eye protection, that's not a big deal. The trigger, the trigger on this is pretty nice. It's initially, yeah, you got some real, whoops, we got some real mush there. We've got a lot of travel. However, the brake is clean and it is fairly light. It's at four and a half pounds, so we take it up and it is a crisp, clean break. You know, not, not competition match quality, but for what you're getting, yeah, it, it's outstanding. Breakdown is really simple. Once the trigger's fired, we simply, and I'll show you, this pulls back. Let's just do a close up here. This pops out, and what I do really like with this over the, the SR22 is I can remove the barrel, just like you know any other semi-auto of this style, I can take the slide off and the barrel comes with it, which is what I'm used to, and I like for cleaning the barrel. So as far as breaking this down, we take the mag out. Okay, always double check. You pull the trigger, and just a slight pull here, and then we've got this little lever. This does not remove or flip. We just do a slight pull back it pops down, if I can see it there, looking over the camera, okay? I'm pulling down on it here. The mag slides forward, and then it just pops off the top. And then we have a pretty traditional breakdown like most semi-auto pistols. Our spring pops out. 
and then our barrel pops out. Here is the threaded component. So we just get a wrench, we pop this loose, thread it off, and find my extension, there it is. And then if I want to run a can, I'll simply replace it with this. Put it back together, quick and simple. Unlike a lot of semi-autos, we're not going to slide it on. That's not how it came off. We just line it up and we put a little pressure down. Okay, you can see it goes down and then it slides back. And you're ready to go. And it's as simple as that. Okay, the safety, we have a nice big safety up here. It is also ambidextrous. It pushes up. It's a little stiff. We've got a rail slide, serial numbers under here. A couple other things about this. First thing that you'll notice when you pick this up is it's very light. It, it's very light, um, surprisingly light. Another thing is, is the mags that come with this, they are wider than the traditional 22 long rifle. These do hold 16. Um, looking at some reviews, there was kind of some, I guess, maybe complaints or criticism. This is a tight spring. It's not going to be as easy. I can't load this with my thumb like I can uh, the Ruger SR-22. For me, that's, that's really not a big deal. I can just take my hands here and I can load it. It also did come with a little assist here, mag assist. And you can just push that down and then you just load it um, pretty much like you're used to with nine mils and everything else. So to me, that's, that's a pretty small thing. The directions uh, show you mag breaks down really easy, can change the floor plate. I had seen some reviews as far as loading. You know, I don't, I don't really think it's much of a, a problem. Unlike uh, some of the others, Rugers, you just have to use both fingers instead of one. But it loads pretty easy here. And I'm just using both fingers, pulling down, and whoops, I dropped one there. I could see if you were doing a lot of shooting, um, that is going to make your fingers sore. Um, you know, one, might, one nice thing would be if these were just a little bit larger, uh, if you could get a hold of those a little bit easier, but it's not really a big deal here. Now, knowing from experience with my Ruger SR-22, a lot of us grew up shooting 22s and they're not very loud. I will tell you out of these small pistols with a short barrel, if you don't have hearing protection on, your ears will be ringing. So make sure that you have hearing protection even though it's only a 22 because it is a short barrel. That's straight out of the box using Federal 36 grain uh, copper plated hollow point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try adjusting that to the right a little bit, maybe down a little bit. I think the bulk is probably high. So on our adjustment here for windage, if we move this clockwise, it's going to turn it, take it to the right. Find the, i to get my glasses. I'm going to go about maybe three quarters of a turn. We'll see what that does. For elevation, to bring it down, I go counterclockwise. And let's just go about maybe a quarter turn. Just a close up here. There's our windage and elevation. Directions are crystal clear. They're a no brainer. They tell you clockwise uh, to move up, counterclockwise to move down, clockwise to move right. And they even have the picture basically with a target and your group with an arrow and showing you which way to turn to move your group, which is really helpful. That took a little bit here. We started up here. Uh, I moved it the right way, which was kind of interesting. It went that way. So then I went back the other way and wasn't having luck. So then I went back to the directions, turning it clockwise to go right. And then we slowly came across here and I did my final adjustments, and this was my last group right here. 
that's not too bad. So I blew through the Federal already, not a single jam. Now I'm going through the Black Pack. I've already done a clip or two of that. Going to do some more of that, and then we're just going to start going through all these different brands and see if we have any kind of hiccup. Let's do some of this uh, Federal Auto Match. Try the Remington Thunderbolts. Let's try the Aguila. Man, that stuff stinks. Let's get creative. I found box of some really old stuff. Let's try this. Here's another box of some really old stuff found in the basement. Let's give this a shot. Let's try some of the American Eagle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and I'm going to put that extension on so I can put my can on it. And then we're going to run through some various subsonic suppressed rounds. Might step back to 50 yards, play a little at 100, see what we can get. So I'm going to go take the barrel out and get it clean and get that uh, can on it. Hey, because I always forget, if you have not visited our webpage, you need to do so. Crazy, stupid deals. You want to know how much I got this for? 209. That's right. 209. There was a $50 rebate. You're gonna have to mail in. Piece of cake. Already got it. It's on its way with that $50 rebate. 209. Check out our webpage, Crazy Stupid Deals. Got online courses, 30-day money back guarantee, finances, study skills, and uh, continuing ed for first responders, law enforcement, military paramedics, firefighters, and then also my Amazon page. Using our links helps support Beyond Seclusion. Thanks for your support. Check out the crazy, stupid deals. Find where I got this for 209. Okay, so it's a piece of cake. Take that off. I've got the threads on here. I'm gonna put my can on, and we're gonna run through the suppressed ammo, see how that does. We'll try here at 50 yards, just kind of test accuracy, see how it goes. We'll start off with the CCI suppressed Let's try the Federal American Eagle Suppressed.
I'm going to try the CCI subsonic. Not doing great here at 50. No jams, no failure to fires, no issues at all. We're probably at, we've got to be at least at 250 rounds. Just going to show you real quick. Once I put the can on, it did change the zero. So I did some adjusting and stuff. Basically got it re-zeroed. This was the last group that I fired and it was just standing at about, yeah, you know, 40, 50 feet. Uh, kind of doing, you know, fairly rapid fire. Was really, really happy with that. Okay, so we're all done testing this Taurus, the TX-22. I've put, uh, I don't know, at least 300 rounds through it. Uh, was planking around and having some more fun testing accuracy. Something before I forget, Taurus needs to redo this backside. This is really about the only thing that I found that um, needs, uh, needs attention would change. I have it all the way up in elevation and it's still shooting just about an inch, maybe inch and a half low with some of the standard or high velocity. So I'm, I'm having to aim it up. When you adjust the height and you go all the way up, it hits a point and then it drops back down. So if you're not paying attention and you're just turning, all of a sudden it goes down and, and screws everything up. So you got to be kind of watching it as you're adjusting the height. Otherwise, I absolutely love this. I don't know if, you know, if it like far exceeds the Ruger SR-22. It's, uh, it's definitely got some advantages. The big one is, is what I got it for was about $150 less. And with that, that's absolutely a no-brainer. I do like the barrel that it comes out. I like the, the ability to break it down really easy. The grips are really comfortable. We don't have the exchangeable grip. Uh, another thing that's huge is the 16 in the mag instead of uh, the 10, I think, in the, the Ruger. Another one is the, the side ejection. So, you know, I guess overall, I would say this is probably my new favorite. It, it's a close tie. For me with a with a ruger sr22 but beans the cost difference that i think makes this uh kind of a no-brainer so anyway hopefully you found this helpful be sure to like comment and sub um, check out my new hearing protection i love these they have the american flag on them i got these on my amazon page walker razor the thins i got these for 39 dollars check it out Anyway, until next time, thanks for watching, happy shooting, and be safe.